Okay, so before we had been talking about direct object pronouns, and now today we are going to talk about indirect object pronouns. Now, an indirect object pronoun, while an indirect object noun, is to whom, to whom, or for whom the action is being done. Okay, so let's take a look at it in English. Let's take a look at this sentence. I, let's take a look at the sentence. I gave flowers to my girlfriend. Let's diagram that just as we had before. The subject of the sentence, like I always said to you, the person doing the action is I, that's the subject. The verb is gave. What did I give? Flowers. That's the direct object. That's the direct object noun. It's what I gave. Okay? Now I'm going to ask you one additional question that I wasn't asking you with the direct objects, and that's who did I give the flowers to? To whom did I give the flowers? And that is to my girlfriend. So I'm going to put, I'll do a little different design around that one. That is called the indirect object. Or if I had a phrase such as, um, let's stick with the vocabulary that we're doing right now at the restaurant, and we said um, the waiter. gave the bill to Laura. The subject of the sentence is the waiter. What did the waiter do? He gave, what did he give? The bill, that's our direct object. And who did he give the bill to? To Laura. Now, we're talk that's called the indirect object noun. Now, we want to change that to an indirect object pronoun. So obviously, if I wanted to get rid of this, what would I say? I gave flowers to her. I would change that to her, to her. Uh, the waiter gave the bill to her. So we're just simplifying it. So now let's see how to do this in Spanish. Let's start by taking our first sentence there. Yo di flores a ella. Oh, whoops. We don't want that just yet. We're going to say a mi novia. Okay, diagram the sentence. Here's the subject, yo. The verb. What did I give? Flores. That's the direct object. Who did I give the flowers to? A mi novia, indirect object. We're going to get rid of this, we're going to simplify it, and we're going to replace it with, can we take a guess? Here are the indirect object pronouns, me, te, le, nos, os, les. You'll notice the only difference between these and the direct object pronouns is right here with the le and the les. So, can you take a guess? That's right, it's going to be le. And the thing is, I know you're asking, what if it's masculine or feminine? Here, it doesn't matter. So it makes it even easier. It doesn't matter if it's masculine or feminine. Either way, it's either going to be lay or lays, masculine or feminine. So we're going to replace aminovia with lay. And just like with the direct object pronouns, the indirect object pronoun goes, ready? Before the conjugated verb before the conjugated verb. So I'm going to change that to lay. And then I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to, oh, it's not going to work with me. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to write my whole sentence and my whole sentence is going to say yo lay di las flores or yo le di flores. And that's it. It's just that simple. Yo le di flores. What did I give? Flowers. Who did I give them to? Ella. I mean, novia. So I gave them to her. I gave flowers to her versus I gave them to my girlfriend. Okay, now, say you wanted to use them both. And in a sentence like, I gave flowers...
to my girlfriend, and I want to say I gave them to her. I want to simplify it even further. Let's diagram the sentence. Subject, verb, direct object, and put it over here. indirect object. So, very simple. What am I going to do? I'm going to replace to my girlfriend with, we said before, which one? Let's look over here at the IDOPS. Which one are we going to use? We said before we're going to use lay. So I'll keep it that same color as the IDOPS. And what would we replace las flores with is las flores and if you forget that flores are feminine just remember you always give flowers to a girl so las flores what are we going to replace that with we're going to say which one which one on here on the dots do we think we're going to use for las flores we're going to use las so we're going to replace that with las okay so that's that and Let's do this up in Spanish. Write the whole thing out. We're going to say, get rid of those things. And we're going to say, yo. And then we have, actually, let's do that in a different color. We're going to say, yo. Indirect always goes before direct. So let's write that over there. Indirect before direct. Always. Indirect before direct. So we're going to say yo, lay, las, di. I gave them to her, but we're not done yet. Okay? I like to tell kids if you get an Eric Clapton song, you know, Layla. It's wrong, okay? Or you could say, you don't lay low, you say low. So basically, if you have two of the L ones together, if you have lay and low, lay and la, lay and los, lay and las, if you have lays and low, lays la, lays los, lays las, you can't have that because it doesn't sound right pronunciation-wise. So when that happens, we change the lay to say. And we say, yo say las di. And that's only when we have the two L ones together. Either lay low, lay la, etc. So you don't lay low, get it? You don't lay low, you say low. So if that will help you remember. Let's do one with a may. Instead of saying, uh, let's see, how about if we did the sentence, El dio flores a mí. He gave flowers to me. So we'll change flores to las. We'll change a mi to me. We know indirect goes before direct. So we're going to finish the sentence with, we're going to say, el. May, oops, let's keep the color the same. Las, Dio. That's it. It's that simple. El me las dio. He gave them to me. So hopefully that gave you a good little base to start with. I'll explain a lot more in class, and I will see you then.